All right, guys, so as you can see, we are starting with a new surface here. We'll probably clean that up first, but I soldered. So first thing I did was I soldered the wire. Of course, red to your one that's marked positive or has writing. That's the way it should be, but this one's actually marked with little positive symbols. Oh, and a signal direction. Good thing to note if you're rerunning new wire in your boat. And then that's our negative, put that to our black. First thing I did is soldered, then threw heat shrink on, and then I taped. Yeah, might as well go overkill, right? So, from here in, stuff this in, and we're gonna bolt this up. Oh, and when you're bolting it up, this little uh, silver piece here goes like that to the back of the boat, to the texting mat. We went ahead and uh, replaced the bolts. As you can see, we went with those. Yeah, they look a little more industrial and you might not like that look, but this is gay. If you take a look, this one isn't too bad, but we stripped a couple of these out. They're just stainless steel style heads and they just, they're so easy to destroy, it's ridiculous. So we went with something a little bit different and if these fail us, then we'll get some better screws, but yeah, Allen wrench screws, I don't know, they're, they're all right, but they have to be like the black bolt style. Anyways, now that we got this up, we're gonna line our tower bracket up. And if you wanted to see how we put it all together on the tower, I have one ready to go in a second. That's the old ones. You've probably already done this, but if you haven't, you're watching this video, all you do is loosen this screw off and that'll undo our big metal clip right here, which separates the bracket. I didn't really show that. And boom, as you can see, it ran away. That comes out because it's like a fork and then this just lifts right out because that just squeezes in and that's the part we just mounted and um yeah so now that that's mounted we're going to take this part and we are going to put it up there like so actually sorry that was the part that we mounted this part is going to be going onto our tower now we're not doing any leds and the rest of the other cool stuff because we don't we don't do a lot of night boating, I guess, and we couldn't justify the extra like $400 for the LED ring. But if you do have the LED ring, you're probably going to have to wire uh, some of these up. But we are not, so we're just going to plug this in, wrap these up and tape them up, and we're going to stuff them inside the speaker. Again, you could zap strap this onto your lead right here, like curl them up, zap strap it, then you're going to plug it in. And then when you're done, just bolt it onto the speaker after you tuck it all in. All right, guys, so um, now that you got this bolted on again, use your short screws. You're gonna see some long screws like this, and you're not gonna use those for putting those onto your speaker because that'd be ridiculous. Just use the small ones. Again, your choice, you can always Loctite them with blue Loctite if you really don't want to. Do not use a red Loctite or when it comes to doing anything with your speaker, you'll shoot yourself in the head before you get it off. So, at this point, uh, look at the pins, line the pins up on the speaker up there. They'll only fit one way, you will see a notch right here, and then you will see a notch right there. See that notch on the white part? Slip that notch into that notch, and then put the fork in it. All right, cool. So once you get this behemoth up and on that slot, you can see it's aiming. There's a little metal piece that shows that we have the tower the right way. You can see. So once you get this big behemoth of a speaker up and on here, as you can see, the uh, little metal piece is right here. Our metal clip is facing this way. Screw is in. And again, tighten it to where you want it. Yeah, if you want it a little bit looser, you can, but I like the noise and toy. So once you get that in, boom, it's on. Let's take a look at this puppy from down here. I say that looks pretty good. Now you can do what it says and remove the blue film because that gives you the shininess of it. That's what I'm gonna do next. Anyways, that's how easy it was for switching them out. Um, I'll probably post another video on adding an amplifier here in a bit, but there you go. The wires run, it's in here, it's all sealed up. We're all good to go. What you can also do is on that center connector, uh, that white piece on here, if you wanted to, you could put some conductive grease or dielectric grease to protect it while it's out on the water. Up to you. These are all little things you can do if you'd like. Thanks again for watching. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe for more.